Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on supersonic flow over a wedge using open foam. In this tutorial, I will show you how to solve a compressible flow problem of supersonic flow over a wedge, how to post process the results in ParaView. To record this tutorial, I am using Linux operating system Ubuntu version 10.04, open foam version 2.1.0, ParaView version 3.12.0. To practice this tutorial, a learner should have some basic knowledge of compressible flows and gas dynamics. Let us now solve supersonic flow over a wedge using open foam and see the shock structure formed using ParaView. The problem consists of a wedge with a semi angle of 15 degrees kept in a uniform supersonic flow. The inlet velocity is 5 meters per second. The boundary condition are set as shown in the figure. The type of solver I am using here is row central foam. It is a density based compressible solver. It is based on central upwind scheme of Kurganov and Tadmor. Open a command terminal. To do this, press Ctrl Alt and T key simultaneously on your keyboard. In the command terminal, type the path for the supersonic flow over the wedge. In the terminal, type run and press enter cd space tutorials and press enter cd space compressible and press enter cd space row central foam and press enter cd space wedge 15 ma5 this is the name of the folder of supersonic flow over the wedge in row central foam press enter now type ls and press enter you will see three folders zero constant and system now open the block mesh dict file. To do this, type cd space constant and press enter. cd space polymesh. Note that M here is capital and press enter. Now type ls and press enter. You can see the block mesh dict file. To view the block mesh dict file, type gedit space block mesh dict note that m and d here are capital press enter let me drag this to the capture area scroll down in this you need to calculate the coordinate for the wedge this has been already calculated and set up in the problem the rest of the data remains the same in boundary patches Boundaries are set as shown in the figure. Close block mesh dict file. In the command terminal, type cd space dot dot twice to return back to the wedge folder. Now open the zero, zero folder. To do this, type cd space zero and press enter. Now type ls and press enter this contains the initial boundary condition for pressure velocity and temperature type cd space dot dot and press enter now we need to mesh the geometry to do this in the command terminal type block mesh and press enter Meshing has been done. Now to view the geometry in the command terminal type paraform and press enter. This will open the paraview window. On the left hand side of the object inspector menu, click apply. In this you can see the geometry in which the rectangular section upstream 
changes to a wedge downstream. Close the paraview window. Now run the solver row central foam. To do this in the command terminal type row central foam and press enter. The iterations running can be seen in the terminal window. The iterations running will stop after it converges or at the end of the time step. Now the solving is being done. To visualize the results, let us open the paraview window once again. In the command terminal, type paraform and press enter. Again on the left hand side of object inspector menu, click apply. On the left hand side top in active variable control menu, you will see a drop down menu showing solid color. Now click on it and change from solid color to capital U. Now make the color legend on by clicking on the left hand side top of active variable control menu and make the color legend on. Click on it. On top of the paraview window you can see the VCR control. Click on play. You can see the final results of U velocity. Now scroll down the properties in object inspector menu on the left hand side. Now click on display besides properties. Scroll down and click on rescale to size. You can see the final value of velocity magnitude. Similarly, you can select pressure. You can see the final result of pressure. Now close the paraview window. You can also calculate the Mach number for the flow. To do this, we can use the open form utility by typing Mach in the command terminal. Type Mach, note that M here is capital and press enter. You will see that the Mach number is calculated for each time step. Now again open the paraview window by typing in the command terminal paraform and press enter. Click apply. Scroll down. In volume fields, check the MA box and again click apply. On top of the active variable control menu, click on solid color and change it to ME. In the VCR control menu, again click on play and make the color legend on. You can see the mark number in the color legend and the corresponding colors. We notice here that when the wedge is kept in a supersonic flow, it produces a shock across which the flow properties like temperature, pressure and density drastically changes. Now let me switch back to the slides. The solved tutorial can be validated with exact solution available in basic books of aerodynamics by John D. Anderson. In this tutorial, we learned solving a compressible flow problem velocity and pressure contour for the wedge and open foam utility for calculating the Mach number. As an assignment, vary the wedge angle between 10 degrees to 15 degrees to view the shock characteristic for the flow. This brings us to the end of the tutorial. Watch the video available at this URL. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this URL. The script is contributed by Arvind N. 
and this is rahul joshi from iit bombay signing off thanks for joining